I'll leave you two to talk, but I'd advise scheduling the surgery as soon as possible. Okay. I'm so sorry. Why would you say that? You, well, you have nothing to be sorry about. I tried to trick you into having another baby, so... You know, maybe this is the punishment that I deserve. Oh, my God, don't ever say that, please. That's just, don't ever think that way. <laughs> you must be so disappointed in me. The only one I'm disappointed in is myself. I, I didn't measure up. <laughs> I wanted to give you another child, to give Trevor a little brother or sister. Honey, I took us for granted. I, I, I didn't focus on, on, on my family, and that will never happen again. And, and can I just tell you that as long as Trevor and I have you, <laughs> that's, that's all we will ever, ever need. Ever. I thought you wanted to nail Hayward for what he did to your mother. I did. But now you want to back off. Don't you see, Ryan, we're, we're giving him exactly what he wants. We're, we're worrying about him, or we're, we're focusing on him all the time. We can't give him that satisfaction. Well, he's planning something big, Kendall. We gotta find out what that is. No, we need to ignore him, okay? We need to ignore him and go on with our lives. We're, we're, I mean, we're letting him control us. Honestly, me and Greenlee teaming up against Hayward, that's actually been kind of good for us. Ryan, listen to me. He, he, he has my mother at Oak Haven, okay? He got her into Oak Haven. And Greenlee and Jackson are flying halfway around the world. You're chasing his every move, and he's sitting there laughing at us like it's all a big game to him. Well, I want it over. It's going to be over once we find out the truth. You know, the last time I got this worked up about David, I almost killed him. My mother just stabbed him in the chest. I don't want him pushing anyone else this far. Where is this all coming from? Please, Ryan, just, just, just do what I'm asking, okay? Please, just back off, please. Can't without a reason. Zach, alive. That's the latest rumor that David is, is throwing out there to mess with my head. He wants to torture me. He wants to torture all of us, and, and, we, and we can't let him. We have to shut him down and show him that it won't work. Did you just hear what I said? David is trying to convince me that he saved Zach. Griffin told me. Oh, is that what you guys were talking about when I came over here yesterday? Hayward's God complex has been taken to a whole new level with Project Orpheus, okay? Griffin thinks that he may be experimenting on other people from Pine Valley, and because of that, he's on board with this. He wants to nail Hayward as much as we do. I don't care. I don't care. Let him do his research. We are moving on with our lives. How many people does David have to mess with? Who else? Greenlee. Hayward hinted that Leo may still be alive. Do you really think I'd let the world believe that my brother was dead, that I would let them watch me mourn his death while I marry his widow. Well, you faked your own death, and then you waltz back to town with a smile on your face. I wouldn't put anything past you. Well, you've already decided I'm a monster, so there's no point in this conversation. All I want is an answer. Is Leo alive? No matter what I say, you're not going to believe it. So I guess there's only one solution, Greenlee. Come with me and see for yourself. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this, okay? Do you, do you need anything? Yeah, my baby. I really need to hold Lucy. Maya took her to the park. She said you asked her to. If she is lying... No, Jesse, she's not lying. I just wasn't sure how I would feel after my first treatment. Turns out they didn't even have to go. You should have left the baby with me. Jesse, are you still second guessing our decision to hire Maya? Uh, she's a sweet enough kid, but. We barely know her. 
Well, you know, we've we've actually been talking a lot lately. About what? Life, love, babies. Babies? Maya is head over heels for Lucy. You know, and they have just taken to each other in, in such a, a magical way. And I really like her, too. I mean, she's a lovely young woman. I'm just saying there are other options. Oh, Jesse. Do you know how lucky we are? Finding the perfect nanny isn't easy. I don't want another option. We are sticking with Maya. You shouldn't be here. I need to focus on Lucy, What's okay? What's problem? I'm trying to do my job. I want to be with you. I want to be with you, too. No, you don't. Or you wouldn't keep running away. You want to break up with me. I don't want to do this right here. See, that? there you go. Running away again. Let go of me. Say it. You want to break up because you don't love me anymore. I don't want to love you. David actually had the nerve to bring up Leo? He did. Well, please tell me she didn't believe it. She says she doesn't. But you're not sure? Part of her has got to want to believe it. I mean, I would want to believe it if he hinted that Jillian was still alive. Yeah, but I mean, how, how could David do that to her? How could, could he bring that up and, and open up a new wound that Greenlee worked so hard to heal? I mean, bringing up Zach is sick enough, but his own brother? Well, I got to make sure Hayward doesn't do any more damage. That's why I, I told Greenlee to go to Brazil with her dad. And I, you know what? I should have told you to go, too. No, uh, 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 uh. I'm not running from David. I'm not, I'm not, not. backing away, oh, Kendall. Come on, I'm Ryan, not. Ryan. Listen, you don't want our lives to revolve around Hayward, neither do I, OK? So while Greenlee is out of town, I am going to put an end to this for good. You're insane if you think that I would go anywhere with you. Fine. You do me a favor. Get out. How could I have ever thought there was any good in you? Hey, nobody's perfect, right? Except Ryan, of course. Yeah. We all get it. You hate us. You want revenge for all the ways we've done you wrong. This? How can you live with yourself? <laughs> I'm very proud of everything I've done. Choosing Leo? He should be ashamed. You're the one that says she wants the truth. I'm simply offering you a chance to get it. Now, if you're not interested, there's no point in this conversation. Almost died. There's no way you can even leave the hospital right now. Yeah, you're right. But for you, I'd risk it. You say you want answers, Greenlee. And I'm prepared to give them to you. So I guess the choice is yours. Do you want to come with me or not? there was actually a time that I didn't know if he was mine or not. You promised to love him as yours no matter what? Oh, no, of course. Even if he was David's, that we were destined to be a family. Finding out Trevor was yours, the best day of my life. <laughs> well, back then, when we weren't sure, I privately asked God big favor. I said, please, if this works out, I will not ask for one more thing for the rest of my life. And it did. It worked out. We're the perfect family. And nothing can take that away from us. Ever. I offered her a job down at the station, you know, entry-level administrative benefits, you know, full ride at PVU. Oh, that's nice. And? 
And she turned it down. She, she wants to keep taking care of the baby. Okay, so that just means she likes where she is. Or she knows we took the baby. Oh, come on, Chief. We already discussed this. All right, let's just say she wanted to take Lucy. Why wouldn't she just go ahead and do it and run? Maybe she just hadn't found the right time. Or, or she just likes where she is and she I, wants to stay put. Either way, the longer she stays with that baby, I don't think the truth is going to come out eventually. That Angela will be destroyed. That cannot happen. So what are you going to do? I don't know. I wish I could think of something to fix this for all of us. I don't know what to do. I don't know how. How did you get in here? The door was open. You need to leave. How can you say you don't want to love me? You know how good we are together. We're not good. If we were good, then I wouldn't have bruises all over my body. I said I was sorry. Leave. Now. I mean it. You're with somebody else, aren't you? No. Don't lie to me. Is it that Asher kid? Huh? Let go of me. You're hurting my arm. I'm not letting you walk away. I said I would stop. I mean it this time. You said that before. And you just keep hurting me over and over again. Okay? Let go of me. You take your hands off her and get out of my house. Okay, so, so let's just say she knows Lucy's hurt, right? Doesn't mean she wants her back. Remember, she put her in my squad car for a reason. And so she can have a better life with another family. She could have changed her mind. It happens all the time. Or she just wants to know her baby's in good hands. <sighs> I don't know. It's, it's just still too risky. I got to do something. I don't. Right now, I got to deal with Hayward, OK? Where the hell is he? It's a good question. He wasn't discharged, was he? No way. He wasn't even close to getting let go. You're angry. Oh, I'm angry, but not at you. David will not get to me again. He's going to try. Okay. So the best thing that you can do is just stay away. Oh, OK. I have to stay away, but you don't? Just trust your instincts, OK? They're right. Stay away from the guy. Protect yourself. Don't let him into your head or your life, anything, OK? Let me handle him from now. I hate this. I hate David jerking us around like this. It's gonna be over soon. Yeah, well, not soon enough. I should have killed him on that rooftop when I had the chance. Wait. Give me your cell phone. Why? Because I don't want your hubby following us on this high horse. Following us where? Where are you taking me? You'll find out soon enough. But I don't want Ryan tagging along. And in the end, you won't either. <laughs> 